Hello again. <laughs> Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome back again to my shop. So today I have a delivery from one of my suppliers and I was about to head over here and I thought, okay, I know a few people have been asking to see little bits and pieces of my shop. I did mention this kind of in the description of my last video. I'm kind of really apprehensive about putting this shop really on YouTube because I just... I just feel like it's going to be like I'm selling something to you guys and honestly that that ain't it <laughs> but I reached out just today actually and asked you guys on Instagram before I headed over here you know would you like me to film this unboxing because I have an order that has arrived so you guys want to see it here we are oh and we're in a different corner of my shop now to the last video last week um that you saw we're in a completely different corner um so that's why it looks very different I've got some stuff the Dubai are there it's philodendron bobsy there's some melanocrysum just recuperating. I don't know if you can see that. I imagine you might be able to. Uh, that's a luxuriance. Got some Vici there. What else have I got? Some Jose Bono. I've got some Albo Monstera cuttings. I hope you can see that. I'm not sure if you can. Um, that I'm actually kind of rooting and growing. I've got some beautiful Florida ghosts that you all love so much. I've got my big variegated bilati. That is my personal bilati. That's growing back. Some Gygus. I've got a whole bunch of shit, really. There's obviously a lot behind me, but we're not going to go into that. We ain't got time. So basically, this order has come in. I have ordered from these guys before. This is my second order. It's not a big order. Don't get me wrong. Um, I guess we're just going to unbox it. There's not really much to it. So it's just going to be a regular chatty shop unboxing. I don't know. So this is the box that's come in. There is a phyto right here on the top. I would expect that there are more phytosanitary documents inside the box. Let me just cut into this. Oh, that's not where you cut. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know how well I'm looking in the frame now just to make sure that nothing ends up out of frame. I don't know how well I can realistically do this, but we will do our best. So I guess we'll just get started. I'm going to unbox some stuff. We'll see how it comes because honestly, it's look at the draw and I'll talk you through it. So what I'm going to do is, oh, they've got heavy root balls. I'm just going to cut through this paper because we don't need it like so. I'm very careful when we do this. There we go. Oh, I get so nervous doing this. You'd think after a year of doing this, I'd be less nervous, but I'm not. Okay. Oh, yes, boy. Oh, okay. Not perfect, not sellable, but here is uh, Anthurium vicii. Now, as I said before, I have got some. Actually, I've got some here. I'll pick this one up. Oh, it's very drippy, but I got some VCI a while ago. So these are actually ready to go out, but obviously this one isn't. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave for the purpose of me filming this because there's a whole box full of stuff. I'm just going to leave these in the packaging and sort of put them down beside me and I'll deal with them after I filmed because there's too much to do. So I'll just lie him down. He's very pretty though, but he is going to need a little bit of rehab. So we'll move on. I'll keep the rubbish on this side. I'll keep the plants on that side. So... Might just be easy to box here. Oh, this one came out as another VCI. Oh, there we go. Again, better, better. Reasonably good condition, don't get me wrong, for shipping plants, this is this is reasonably good. Um, but we are gonna need to keep these a few weeks before we can even pass them on, just to make sure they acclimate, they don't die. I get some growth out of them, all the rest. So there's another VCI. I'll just lie that down really carefully. What else have we got? Oh, oh. This is a new one, I think. If it is what I think it is, I need to be super careful in doing this. Oh, oh, by the way, you're gonna have to put up with, you know, hair tied back Kaylee. It ain't cute, it ain't cute, but it's what we're rolling with today. So that's that, oh yes. This is, I think it's Philodendron Montanum and it's really nice. It's like, it's hard to explain it and I can't really come to the camera, but it's got like a matte finish on the leaf. It's a heart shaped and it's got these really beautiful ribs. I ordered these. A while ago. I hope you can see that. I'll try and hold this up because it's obviously a little bit floppy. It's been shipped. That is so pretty. This one's come really good actually, but we need to see how they do in the next few weeks before they can move on. Because it ain't my style to get things in and just get them out and not acclimate because that is a recipe for disaster. And it's not the way we do things. Right. Oh, we've got a chalk on it. Doesn't look great. Mmm. It's okay. Eh, this one's, yeah, this one's a long way off. It's got new growth that's had a little bit of a beating in the box here, but it's a long way off, really. That's That's got a long way to go, as you can probably tell. 
So that's a bit of a shame, but this is what happens. This is like a full box of this. This is going to take a while, guys. I don't know to what extent I can really chat to you guys because I'm aware that this packaging is very noisy, um, which I should have thought about in advance, but I haven't. So I'm sorry if I fail to be able to chat much. I'll do my best. Oh my God. Okay, I've been wanting these for a while. Um, I don't see many people selling these and they're amazing. So this here is Anthurium Water Burianum, I think. I'll have to check the invoice and I don't know where the invoice is. Or is this just the Phyto? Yep, Phyto. Okay, we'll keep that for later. Really, really pretty. They're kind of velvety, kind of not. It's They're a bit more like suede, a little bit more like a Clarinervium, I would say. They're really, really pretty plants. I like them. Oh. oh, this one was wrapped much easier. Oh, here we go. Another Montanum right there. Same as before, looking really cute, but still not quite there for sale. Even if this comes good and there's no, you know, transit shock, it's still not for sale. It needs to, it needs to wait a while. I mean, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this. So far, in terms of, you know, importing these things in and kind of gauging how good the shipment is, 50%, I would say. Like, some are good, some are bad. So we're on 50-50 at the minute. We'll see how that changes over the course of this. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Right, here we go. This is a little bit more true to, to life. So here is another Waterbury Arnhem, and it's it's obviously stunning. Um, but here we have some some uh, transit shock, you could say. Could be watering, could be anything. The root ball feels a little bit cool, but it's probably just the perils of transit. So I think it'll do okay, but it's just stuff like this is what you're going to get. To be honest, these are in very good condition so far. I'm only noticing some cosmetic damage on most of them. Generally, they're not, like they're not coming in brown and crispy or anything. So what is this? Oh my goodness. So this is Philodendron Gloriosum and it hasn't come bad in my opinion. That is a super pointy leaf. What on earth? Oh my gosh, you need to see this. Check this out. Gloriosum leaf. Can you see that? I hope you can. Look at that. What on earth is that about? Right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I always get quite... It's weird doing these unboxings because obviously you're excited because new plants are coming in, right? And it's like it's like Christmas come early in some aspects. But it's also... You do get a bit of the fear because it's like, how did my plant arrive? You know what I mean? Are they good? Are they not good? Oh, see this one's... Yeah, this one hasn't come great, has it? That's obviously got to be removed right there. Again, this one is going to need some time before it can go out. That's fine. I can acclimate them all. They will be acclimated and we will get new growth and then eventually they will go out. So that's okay. I can deal with it. Oh, see, this one isn't too bad. Again, not there yet, but it's not bad. We just need a bit more growth out of that. So that'll get potted up and we'll keep that and hopefully we can get them looking pretty. Okay. What we got? Oh, another choco. Not great. Not great at all. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not how people are going to expect it. We need some bigger leaves in. So again, I'll grow it out. We'll wait a bit. We'll wait a few months probably, and then we'll get this out. It's not bad. In terms of transit damage, it hasn't suffered. It's okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this one is ropey. <laughs> this one is very, very ropey. That has not come good. That wasn't me, was it? No. Definitely not. That has not come good. It will in time. That has not come good. This is it's not great so far. Okay, this one looks like it's come good. We like this one. This is another Anthurium BGI. Okay, that's come much better, hasn't it? This is very, very close to sale. Obviously, it's a smaller one than some of the others, but that's fine. This won't have long at all. Month, maybe two max. Very, very easily. It's nice. What we got now? Ah, another Gloriosa. Again. Eh, not the best. Not great so far, gotta say. Oh God, I'm not even halfway down the box, guys. <laughs> not even halfway down the box. There we go. Uh, oh, this hasn't come great either. There's other new leaf as well. Ah, yep, new leaf again. Waiting game with this one. Healthy plant, by the looks of it so far. Healthy plant, but we're gonna have to wait for some growth. Oh, okay, this one's looking better. A little bit more like what I would expect. This one's nice. This is another Philodendron El Choco. I just call them Chocos because it's easier. That one's much better. Love it. We'll grow that out a bit. Pop that down there. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Again, the grow out situation. 
healthy plant, but it's got a grow. Oh, that's taken a bit of a beating, hasn't it? Oh, no way. Okay, this is cool. I mean, this is the kind of thing where customers don't want this, but it's kind of cool. And I always like seeing it. So I don't know how well you'd be able to see this. If I hold that leaf up there, but it's like a little Gemini leaf. There's like two leaves to the one leaf. It's like twins, conjoined twins. It's really cool when, uh, when I see stuff like that. Again, not everyone wants that. And obviously I wouldn't sell a plant with that on, but it's so cool though. I'd love it if someone could actually make a clone of these big heart-shaped plants and do like these Gemini leaves and just look for that, you know, deformity. What was that? I don't know if my microphone picked that up, but something happened. I like the way this seller packages things, to be honest, although the paper doesn't really help. I'm just gonna be brutally honest with you, it really doesn't. A lot of people, when I send out plants from my shop, they always say, oh, why did you put the plant on like bubbles? Why didn't you put it in paper? Honestly, paper doesn't do that much. It just doesn't. I don't know why people think that the paper kind of insulates it or whatever, it doesn't. If anything, the plastic bubbles that I use are gonna insulate that far more than any little bit of paper around the leaves. Because I like to package my plants, if you don't know, I suspend them in air bubbles. It just means that when you put a plant in a box, it's suspended in air. Do you know what I mean? It's not moving around in the box like this. It's just gently cushioned. I find that works better, personally. Um, each of their own, obviously, but paper generally doesn't do much. Um, oh my goodness me. That is a bit nuts, isn't it? That's nuts, look at that. Can you see that? Hope you can. That is the weirdest thing ever. Again, we're not quite there, but that's fine. Let's keep him down there. Okay, this is relevant. This is very relevant. So this, it has not come good, but this is, it, this was, this was Monstera epipremnoides. If I am correct, and if I'm wrong here, I'm gonna correct myself on the bottom of the screen, but I believe this is now Monstera is it a skeletal? I think that's what it now is. So this plant, if I ever do sell this plant on my website, which I will be, obviously, I'll probably still say, you know, this is Epipremnoides or this is formerly known as Epipremnoides, now it's this. So if you're looking for it and you can't remember the name, I'll list kind of both on the listing, just so that you know, I guess. I do love these plants. They're still one of my favorite Monstera, even though they've been renamed, they're not Epipremnoides. I still love them. They're still lush. <laughs> Oh, okay, this, ooh, this one looks better. This one looks much better. Let's have a little looky. This is another Gloriosum, looking very beautiful, very beautiful indeed. This one, I think this is a new leaf here. It feels a little bit floppy. That's much nicer. It's not as nice, obviously, as a lot of the ones that I've got in my shop ready to go out, but this one should plump up quite well. I think this one's gonna be the closest to sale like the quickest, if that makes sense, this is gonna have the least rehab time. You can just tell by looking. Right, we are nearly the bottom. I can see the bottom of the box, so that's helpful. Oh, so that's a reason right there. Right there is the reason why I don't use paper because it can encourage stuff like this. It can encourage the plant when it's like stacked in a row. It can encourage leaves to do this. So I tend not to use it for that reason. That is literally the reason why, to be honest. I find that just bubbles works best and it stops this kind of happening. Um, that's a new leaf there and it looks okay. It's a little bit battered. It's okay. I mean, this is obviously not the best. It's okay. Oh, another Epipremnoides, another Eskeleto. This one's, oh, this one's much better. It's still not up to standard but it's much better. Two leaves. This one looks like it's going though. It's, I don't know if you can tell on camera. Again, I'll have to hide my face, but this one looks like it's going. This one's okay. Not brilliant, but it's fine. These grow pretty well if you give them, you know, what they want from you. Right, okay, mm, again, not brill, not brill. Oh my God, transit damage the house. Literally, look at the state. That's not great at all. That's a put it on a shelf and forget about it for six months situation. That's what that is. That's not brilliant at all. At all. Please come good. <laughs> oh shit, this one's worse. I don't know what's happened with this box. Something's gone wrong here. This can happen by the way. Oh, is it snapped? Uh, it hasn't snapped, it's just grown funky. This can happen when you get stuff shipped in. Either things just don't travel well, temperature drops, the works, it just happens. And this is an unfortunate situation where that happens. This is also an El Choco Red, or was an El Choco Red. Right, three packages left, wish me luck. Although, percentage-wise, if I had to revise, you know, how it's going, 20% success rate, I would say, on this. Don't go wrong, nothing's dead. That's what you gotta remember, nothing's dead. 
but it's not unbelievable. And it's another Choco. Again, not good, not good at all. So I think the only things that actually came good, I would say, were the Vichii. Pretty much, I would say. This is probably the only time that a shop is actually going to show you what they get in and how it arrives. I'm not saying every shop gets stock in and it's, you know, it doesn't come well, but a large amount of time it does. Not only that, sometimes you get stock in and it looks great, but it's going to deteriorate in two weeks. So you get it, it looks flawless and it just goes... You know, that can happen. It can happen to anybody. I guess the thing to take away from this video, other than, you know, here's some random content for your Tuesday viewing. I guess the thing to take away from this is, you know, this happens and you wanted to know a behind the scenes in the shop. And this is kind of it. This is life in a shop. So for anybody that thought it was really glam and, you know, you get all your plants in, they all look beautiful. Yay, great. Put them on the shelf. Insta, Insta, sell them on. That's not really how it works. Um, and I, I defy any shop to tell me different, to be honest. It's just not how it works. Things like this that come good, they will obviously be on the first, you know, the first queue to go out. But other than that, it's rehab time. It's growing them, it's putting them in great conditions and just watching them, feeding them, watering them. This is life in a shop. This is a small portion of life in a shop, you know, to get from like what you see here to stuff like this. This is, um, Philodendron Luxurians. This takes a bit of time. I got this in. This was a stump. I've had to grow it back. You know, um, it's looking good now though. I've got to say, oh, that's so soft. That's, that must be brand new. Yeah, it is brand new. You know, this isn't an overnight thing. It does take a little bit of time. I know some sellers and this is no, you know, intentional shade, but I know a lot of sellers will get stuff in and they'll be like, yo, look what I got in today. Look at these, they're awesome, you know, buy now. And it's a bit like, yeah, but I know what's going to happen to that plant when you do that. So when you know as a shop personally i don't do that you've got to acclimate i'm sorry i'm looking off camera because i've just realized that there are about i don't know 20 alocasia dragon scale that are still rehabbing in here that i got when did i get these i got them february this year but that's kind of my point you know you've, you've got to just take the rough with the smooth when you have a shop um if you want to know any more about like just the just the sheer and utter realism about doing this sort of thing let me know because I feel like a lot of it is glamorized. And well, I know a lot of it is glamorized. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but I'm, I'm totally up for showing you like the ups and the downs. So, cause there is great aspects of doing this. And there's also like, oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? There's different aspects of doing this. So if you want to know more about the world that is this shop, that is plant shops and how they run and how shit goes down, um, let me know in the comments below. As I say, I know this was a super weird video. I know that I couldn't really speak much because obviously nobody wants that down a lav mic, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I apologize for that. I know everyone tells me to stop apologizing. I will try not to. I know last time I showed you some stuff before I left, but I don't think, I don't think I've got anything to show you. Oh, this is when a choco does come good right here. Let me just show you. This is what happens when you do keep them and you get the growth in your conditions. This one is ready to go. This is completely and utterly sellable. So when you do rehab them, as I said last time, it's totally worth it. Plus I know that that's kind of stable as well. My butt is uh, inside Jose Bono. There it is. Really, really big. Really, really big, nice, juicy plants. Oh, and obviously ghosts, but these just aren't really of size yet. They're growing well, don't get me wrong. They're just not of size. I need to wait much longer. They're, they're on their way though. I think they need a little bit some of them need bigger pots because some of them are having super small pots actually like this one here is just in one little pot oh uh i'll show you these just before we go that one's probably the easiest to grab so these are obviously some node cuttings from Monsera albo i've got leaf cuttings on the go i've got some over there that you can't see they're off frame um i also did some node cuttings just because i was cutting down the entire plant anyway um and there were nodes without even leaves on the specimen that I had, so I just cut it right down. So I'm trying, trying to grow out some elbows. As you can see, it takes a little while. Uh, this one's getting there. This one's getting to a good starting point. There's another one here as well. Let me just grab it. I feel like this is going to turn into a show and tell every single week, <laughs> but this is another node cutting. There's an aerial root there. Oh, there's a leaf coming in. This leaf wasn't great. That's much better. That's a pass. So we can keep growing with that. 
I'll just put them back down there. A few people have asked me about that massive uh, yellow variegated monstera that I chopped up in my living room like last year. So most of that is in node cuttings and you can't see it. Where I'm pointing here, there are monstera growing and they're all the big bad lad proper yellow variegated one. So they're all safe. They're just growing. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, please let me know what you think of anything I said. Um, I'm going to go tidy up now because I still got to work. So thank you very much for watching. Again, I know, a garbled mess. Hopefully I can edit that into something that is remotely consumable. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.